for the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two are on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders, but what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Oh, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain and the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. There's the cutter! Saw what he had in mind there. Oh, man, what a strike! Gets out of the way, and fast. Not showing much fight here. Yeah, he looks absolutely out of it, Cole. You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Belly to belly suplex. Really just laying it in. Oh, right up there. Scoop slam! Oh, look at this. TKO! Into the pin attempt. What a kick out. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Too quick to catch him there. Had it scouted. Uh-oh. Out on the apron. Oh, this uh -oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. He's on his heels a bit now. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. To Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain for the locker room, it's no secret that the superstar he detests the most are those who first made a name for themselves on the independent scene. What's he gonna do with it? And down with the suplex. Setting up for the T-Bone! Oh, 
When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Struggling to get to the corner here. Might not make it, Michael. Looks like we might just see the tag here, Byron. Which will undoubtedly change the entire outlook of this match. Oh, and he gets to his corner. That's a game changer right there. Great agility there. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. The cutter never ceases to amaze me. Is it enough? Still seems a little early. Devastating elbow. What have we got here? Oh, what a DDT. Wow. He's absorbed some damage already. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. And again, yet yeah, look at this! And another kick out. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Hook them. DDT! He's been quickly taking control here. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's look at this. Elusive movement there. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Can't get it done. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. No, he comes up short. Boy, he really needed that tag. Look at this, right from behind. What's he going to do next? Oh, a bomb! He's done. It's all over, but the counting. Bringing it back into the ring. He thinks he has it. What's it going to take to keep him down? Wow, I am impressed. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Toss to the outside. Big time clothesline. Good grief. just cannot be caught. He's absorbing some tough hits now. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. Six. Up and down, leg lariat. Seven. Elbow drop. Piercing. Impact. Bam! Down he goes. Whoa, not so fast. That'll hinder your modeling career. Go! 
Deep dump. Look out. Time for more patented tag team offense. Yeah, time for more pain. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Inching closer to his partner here. You can talk about being close all you want, Cole, but unless you're talking about horseshoes or hand grenades, it means nothing. Somehow. Dream Valley Driver! And Velveteen Dream Tags Trey! It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the Purple Rainmaker! I told you they're on the same page now! Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. Guys, the better team won just like I thought they would. Maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out, and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh no, uh, are those handcuffs? and trade to the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. 